and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. The finale month. We are inside of it now. I'm so excited. Uh, the leaderboard as it currently sits, uh, we have Ariel Stormborn in first place overall with two packs and 48 points. Mm -hmm. Jazzy J Truther is currently sitting in the quality eighth place position with 30 points overall. We have two people currently tied for the Big Steve Award with Mooney Man and Jeremy who have both had two packs but could potentially knock themselves out of contention uh, if they have a third pack. So are you looking for that magic 20 point sweet spot for anybody today to be in contention for the Big Steve Award? Big Steve, of course, as a reminder, has <clears throat> 19 points overall. And then last place is sort of just like, up for grabs. Up for grabs. Like. Nobody managed to get two points off two packs. Exactly, yes. Right. So not a single person has two packs, two points. There are a handful of people uh, with uh, one pack, two points. Right. However, we don't know whether or not they have a second pack yet to come at this moment. So, so yeah. a, a lot left to happen. The game is wide open. There are individual cards worth more uh, than what Ariel Stormborn currently has with her two packs. Right. Um, so there is the possibility for somebody to just pull a single card that could just, just launch like, them into first place. So, yeah, I mean, even in third place, we have Kyle McCoon, who's got 40 points off one pack. So they were a rookie in round two and clearly uh, just went big with their single pack right there. Speaking of which, we have four rookies in today's field. Let's jump into it. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, Here we go. Ba -ba -ba -bam. What could it be? All right, today's type advantage will be raucous pummeling oh, energy. Man. Here we go, which means I don't think we need to change the boards behind us at all. That's exciting. But uh, we also should announce today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are going to be Ambipom, Wiglet, and Panseer. Oh man, okay, okay. The Ambipom, I feel like I've been seeing some of that guy. He seems familiar, right? Yeah. I mean, there's two monkeys in there today. Panseer, I feel like is one of those Pokemon that I don't think the, I don't feel like the fandom likes the the monkey Pokemon that much, but I think the Pokemon Company loves them. <laughs> That's so interesting. Yeah. That like the Pokemon Company is like, nah, y'all just don't see it. Yeah, I don't get it. Keep uh, right. going. More Pansage, more Panpour, more Panseer. You're gonna get it. You're gonna love it. It's like, yeah, yeah. I don't think we do. It is not always, that good. It is always very interesting to see which Pokemon the Pokemon Company seems to lean into. Yeah, versus right. The Pokemon community. <laughs> Exactly. As a whole. So anyway, without any further ado, let's go with it. Pack number one. Let's go. Today's first contestant is Chris. Chris. Hello, Chris. How is Chris doing coming on into the day? Yep, here. First uh, first pack of the new year. Let's go. First pack. Let's do it. Um, Chris has currently got 12 points on the day. That's what you meant. You that is what I meant. That's about how that's, he's doing that's, generally. That's, that's, that's quite <laughs> all right. I was like, maybe he'll figure it out. Maybe yeah. not. Um, at least in the future, people will be watching and they'll be like, wow, Ben just asked a question and Jay. <laughs> That's quite all right there. All right, so we got a swab. And, 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 and the wiglet. And the wiglet. Oh my gosh, everybody's showing up. And the Glagar will score. And the, you're absolutely right. Oh man. my gosh. Iron Bundle, the Techno Radar, the Counter Catcher, the Larry will not score, the Dundozo will not score, and the Ting Lu will score, score twice. twice. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five points overall to kick things off there we go. That's for bring Chris. Chris to 17 points on the season. Almost hit that big seed oh, number so of close. 20 right there. But that's a, that's a good showing uh, for the season on the whole. So well done it to is. Chris. Thank you for playing. Well done, longtime player. All right, next up we're going to have Matthias. Matthias! Who, uh, his card is getting away from me. They're coming into the Okay, another big Steve one to look out for here. They are coming into the day with 16 points. Now, I want to know, how is Matthias doing? Matthias, I think, you know, we were catching up before the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing some debriefs That's back right. in the, the green room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, one of the guys in the back. Right, Matthias, right, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds like you had a great Christmas. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Happy holidays. All right, no type advantage for Matthias. We have the A Palm, not the Amber Palm, the Galvantula, the Mantake, the uh, Pan Sage. Oh, there's the Amber Palm. Palm. Wow, there we go. Does yep. get it. Showing up. We've seen all three today. Flittle, the Oracorio, and the, the Mousehold Mouse EX, which looks like some sort of bulk EX action right there, but it's always nice to get a full art card no matter what. Let's see, yeah. And oh my gosh, it's like one of the worst rounding cards oh, in the game. No. 98 cents. So oh, just worth a so single still point. Barely a point. So it's going to be a two point pack for Matthias there. <laughs> going to bring them to 18 on the season. Wow. Very close to the big seal. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of people landing right at that 20 number today. I know, I know. It feels like it feels like the omen is like is already out there just a little bit. Like we're, right. we're we're dancing around the like upper teens. Yep. Yep. Here we go. All right. Next up we have Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina who, again. 16 points, Ben. Goodness gracious. Here so we're we looking go. for four. We're looking for four. That would be a, an excellent showing on the day, especially because the current two people that are holding that position um, still have a pack left or could have a pack left, meaning they might bump themselves out of contention. I mean, so. they probably do, yeah, probably I guess. so, yeah. All right, next, all right, go ahead. So we got the Tandem Mouse, the Toad School, the Toxel, the Spinda, the Ferrothorn, the Curse Duster, the Ore Beetle, the Nicket will not score. Oh, oh the Toad School. Toad School. And it's not, no, okay, it's Toad School, so it's not yeah. like a random a critical hit or anything. And the, and the yeah. Volcanian, that's a brand new, I don't think we've pulled that one at no, all yet. No, I don't yet. think we have. Number 185 on the set. Let's take a look to see what that is worth. Throw a sleeve on it for you there. Put it back. Absolutely. Never a bad day when you're getting a sleeved card in the mail. Uh, 185, so that's gonna be worth three dollars fifty-two cents. So it's gonna be uh, for five points on. Oh, the and it, it, so that's gonna be twenty-one points tying yeah. with Dakinator and Dakinator. Um, but pushing them out of Big Steve contention. Well, right. maybe well, not. Maybe not. That's the thing. So, right. so both Jeremy and Money Man right now um, have the twenty points. But again, if they have another pack left, it could it knock push them, them out. Yeah. At which point in time, that tie with Jackinator and Dakinator, who also have a pack left. You're to go. right. So, so this could be a this, really good Big you're Steve right. player. That at the moment, I'm gonna tentatively say they've got it because it's so likely the other ones just bump themselves out of contention. That's exactly it. So, yeah. so for the time being, we will we will put. A, a tiny little Big Steve crown on Wilhelmina, but there's still plenty of packs left to be opened. So exactly. we'll see We'll see how the rest of it shakes out. All right, next up we've got Ryan. Ryan! Who is coming in today with just seven. That's not a pack, that's a sleeve. Here we go, seven points on the, on the season so far for Ryan. Uh, let's see what we can do for him here. Get something big. Maybe we'll just jump into first place. I know, yeah, why not? Why not? You know, we're, we're talking about the Big Steve War, like it's the only way you can win, but there are plenty of others. Plenty of other ways. We have Toad School, Vanilla, Charcadet, Tatsugiri, Vanilla, Defiance Vest, Pan Sage, Technical Machine Evolution, and Ooh. Iron Jugular. So we were dead wrong about that. That's going to be a single point. Pack. Yeah, I don't even think we need to look it up on that one because seven no. points is certainly not going to be in last place either. So yeah, that's going to be an eight point season for Ryan. Cool. Iron Jugulus on the way to you. Thank you for your support as ever, Ryan, for being here. Well played. Indeed, indeed. Next up we have Joe Cathan. Joe Cathan. How's Joe Cathan doing? Well, Joe Cathan, I think, is doing uh, pretty well, you know. There was some drama with her mom. Oh, but, you know, wow, wow. wow. I, mean, I don't we, want to get into it, but. Should, should we just go straight horoscopes <laughs> and be like, uh, what, what's a what's a good one? Like, um, struggles with speaking up in large crowds. Wow. But when you get them uh, really opened up, they, they truly blossom into just an energetic being. Wow. You know? That sounds exactly like a joke happen, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I was trying. To, I was trying to riff uh, a horoscope off the top of my head. Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> thank you, pretty thank solid. You. All right, so we got the blip bug, the fooey coco, fue coco, fue rather. coco. I'm sorry, the snow rut, the honed edge, the ancient booster energy capsule, the masquerade, the cyclozar, the dwebel will not score, the wiggle will, will, will not. Oh, wiggle will. Well, You're yeah. right. Yep. There we oh, go. Oh, the iron valiant. Iron valiant. There we okay, go. Let's that see. might be some points. It could be indeed. Let's see. Number eighty nine on the set. Which Joe Cathan is looking for because they've got just three points. Yeah, this is a solid card actually. Actually, uh, I feel mm -hmm. like we, we under responded at eight dollars ninety four cents. That's wow, nine. So nine. Ten, ten, ten points. Back. Wow, that's very well done. Gonna bring them to thirteen on the season. So an exciting last pack, but probably not any sort of podium for Joe. But see, this is exactly what I was saying. So it's just me, you, Joe, Cathan. We were just hanging out. Yeah, totally blossoming. Right there right? it is. You right, know? amazing. You know, large crowd. Large crowd. There it is. 
All right, next up we've got Emily Stock, our first mod of the day. Oh, who's man. presently got three points on the season, so sort of carrying the mod curse. Although we've had a few, like Doe and Moss are sitting there at fourth and fifth, so. That's true, that's true, know. yeah. So the mod team over on Discord, which by the way, you get at the at anything above the $3 tier over on Patreon. Ooh, um, the rock is pummeling for Emily, so here we go. East Stock's looking to play, looking to play. Let's see it. So the we'll stack, the stack. stack. There has not been a lot of fighting types in this. Uh, Earthen Vessel. Vessel, store. yep. The Veluza, the Gimme Ghoul, and oh, oh. Garchomp! Oh man, this there is gonna go. be a good little multiplier we okay. have going here. Let's see, yeah, 219 on the set. That's a beautiful card as well. That I is. This is sort that. of a funny one because Garchomp is typically a raucous pummeling because it's terastalized. This one is water, so this will not count, even though it uses fighting energy. That is super funny, yeah. Yep. So uh, $8.71, so another nine point card. Nine, 10, 11, 12 times, times two, two is 24. You make 24 point pack for Emily. What? That's a Amazing! The mods were over there like, enough is enough. Enough's enough, we're this. coming to play. So that's 27 points. 27. What is that gonna do? That could be, oh no, it, it would not be quite enough for quality eighth place. Yeah, it doesn't or fucks even, with the leaderboard, does it? However, it is a unique score coming in at about 11th place at the moment, right behind Enselman with 28. So, well done, e Stock. Wade, Wade mods, just congratulations on, on how you guys have played this season. Way to bring it for the I know, Paradox I know. Rift, you know? It was, you, y'all were due course. Now I think Dakota is the last one we need to, we need to pull something good for her. Okay, now this is an interesting pack, because this is Jackinator and Dakinator. Okay. So they're about to uh, probably just bump themselves out of Big Steve contention. So what you love to see here, Jackinator and Dakinator have 21 points, yeah. and 30 points is the current mark for quality eighth place. So 31 points, so a 10 point pack would really be like the most ideal yeah. you know for for where they're where they currently are to where they should go in order right. to, to But even if they go a little above that that's okay cuz they could still get bumped down a few into eight. That's place. a good point as well. That's a good point as well. So let's take a look here. But they want it, they they want to get at least 10 points here. Yes, yeah. That, yeah. And they look not going to be a bad Oh, here thing we go. So we Two in a row. Got the Rockus pummeling, we got the Nimble, the Elekid, the Vanillish, the, the Onyx, Onyx score, the Clawful score, score, the Orthworm will not the Absol will not. The Iron Moth does actually, in fact, score. The Flittle won't, and the oh, Zekrom. Oh, it's gonna be so close. It's it gonna is be eight so points. One, no. two, three, four times two is eight. Oh, oh so my so gosh! And I'm just double checking for no other. Yeah, no pants here. No Wiglet. No Amber Palm. Man. Man, it's a 29 point season. So just gonna get underneath the eighth place spot. That's so unfortunate. I know. It's amazing when you put the narrative together and it comes like ah. Oh, that just, Close. just narrow margins, but, but well done either which way to, to Jackinator and Dakinator who played a great season. All right, next up we have Emerald Phoenix who looks like they're bouncing around the bottom of the leaderboard because they had a one point pack then a two point pack. Okay, okay. So that's about as low as you could go. So I there there is a a scenario and we can't say for absolutely certain without more information at the moment, but there is a scenario where if Emerald throws up a single point, they could be in contention for last place. Right. So something to keep an eye on. Although well, they're not going to. Yeah. The pants here, and, and the Wigglets, and the, and the Glagar. Have we had these three in a row before? I, I don't know, yeah. Technically, we'll see the Wug Trio, the Crocolord, the Garnacle. Will That's score. a double score, actually, yeah. and the Zacian will score. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six points man. for Emerald, man. So really Emerald was just like, you know what? Like, I don't want to be competing for last. I want to, yeah, what is, what is the line from, from uh, Wally? I don't want to survive. I want to live. live. That's right. That was, that's what Emerald just, I mean, he just looked at us, you know, straight through the camera lens and said that. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Emerald, who's almost no doubt also looking forward to a snow day, probably on Monday. Oh, I, yes. I know yeah, Emerald, yeah. who is a teacher here in Virginia, where we are about to get hit. About to get hit. About yep. to find out. Yep. All right, yep. we'll anyway. See. By the time you've watched this, not gonna matter. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah it'll, it'll be gone. <laughs> it'll be gone. It looks like a real slush bowl coming tomorrow, Ben. Next up is uh, Kyla Ren. Kyla Ren. Yeah. How's Kyla doing? Kyla's doing, well, you know, problems with her dad. Oh, you know. oh I see, I and see. And you know yeah. what? And mom. <laughs> rough, <laughs> rough upbringing. They expected a lot out of her. Uh, kind of went the other way. Oh, man. More oh, of a man. granddad's girl, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, yeah, that's uh, at my my daughter Addie, who's currently obsessed with our dad, Papa John. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So there we go. Let's see. So we got the lightning bolt energy, the horsey, the joltic, the natsu, the remoraid, the Professor Turo scenario, the Mian Shao uh, will score, the Rika, the tandem mouse will not, the Magby will not, and the more pack. So, so just, just a two, two point, points. man. It's gonna be a ten point season for Kylo Ren. There we go. Sure, about to wreck the room she's sitting in. You know. How dare we? Oh, that was yeah, big, big, big. Yeah. I, I literally, I feel like I, I, I missed out on the Kylo Ren uh, parallels that you were drawing there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm I was, sorry. I was like, man, you were just making such, such assumptions, but I see now the. Yeah, okay. that was, I, piece, I pieced it together. Han Solo, Princess Leia. Yeah, yeah. Kylo Darth Ben. Vader, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Darth Vader. You yeah. know, sort of has resonated. Wow. <laughs> this guy. Went over my head. I'm sorry. My apologies. Well done, Kylo Ren. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, we have our first Rookie of the Day, Ben. It is Christy C. Christy C. So, uh, Christy really is, can't be playing for anything because this is their single pack. So, they could be playing for first place or Rookie of the Day. Yeah, so you want to grab one of those Olive Garden gift cards so just as, to show. So. As ever, this is po probably what's on the line, but you never know. Maybe this is the best pack we've pulled all season, it's, and Christy is about to just take the whole the whole game. It could be. It could be. That's that's the, that's the real card people are coveting. You know, yeah. the, that precious, precious breadstick redemption card. Which, exactly. By the way, we are not sponsored or affiliated with the Olive Garden in any way, shape, or form. It was yeah. just an inside joke that we thought would be hilarious to implement, and so we have. Yeah, but listen up, Olive Garden. If you want to sponsor the show, we're open to it. It. And listen up every other food chain or whatever. If you'd like <laughs> us to give away one of your gift cards instead and sponsor the show, right. we're also open to we it. We have no allegiance. You can dethrone the garden. Yes. Yes, indeed. Anyway. Uh, who can Christy C dethrone, if anyone? We've got the Dottler, Toxel, Lipard, Wimpod, Medical Energy, Steeny, Absol, Toad School, the Surskit, and the Gardnackle for just two oh, points, two points for on Christy her first C. pack ever. So That's we, we thought Christy might be might be shooting for the stars. But no. But fell to the moon. Yep. There we go. There so we go. well that that said. It doesn't mean you can't win Rookie of the Day. With That's, two true. Points. That's true. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone else could totally peter out there. Right. Next up, we have Sierra Cawthorn. All right. Who is coming in with back to back two point packs for four points on the season. Okay. Okay. So you know, there's always just that that possibility of throwing down a whopping sixteen and and taking over Big Steve well, you or. You know, like twenty six and taking over quality eighth place. Do you think Ariel Stormborn will hold her lead for the rest of the game? There's something about the fact that her name is Ariel Stormborn yeah. that makes me feel as though like this is one to like defend their. It does. It does you feel know, like, like she's like, gonna go from first to like really in first. Really yeah. in first. Yeah. It's like like this is that's how that's how things play off. Yeah. In, in the north. You but know? second place is also called Tempest Blade, which just sounds <laughs> like the name of someone who de defeats the leader at the last second. And we of course, have third place, Kyle. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. That's, That's telekinesis, Kyle. Kyle. I bet he's never heard that joke. <laughs> probably not. Probably yeah. not. But you should listen to uh, Wonder oh, Boy. Wonder Boy by, by Tenacious D. There we go. You got it. You're taking all the words right out of my brain. All right. So we got the Tinka Taint, the Charcadet, the Flittle, the Trubbish, the Simi Seer, the Crobat, the Roarark. Uh, the Flamingo will Flamiga score, scores. the Nimble will not score, and the Zot too. So just so. a two point. Wow. Three. Two, that's two point pack back to back to back for six. There we go. For so six Cawthorn. on the season. At very least consistent. consistent. Very yeah. consistent yeah. player. So next next month, I suspect that they're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to do like like 24 per pack. This yeah, 24 time. per 24 pack. 24 better strategy. Time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just had to had to learn how to find a rhythm here. All right. So next up, we have Alex. Uh, and they have got 24 points on this. Sorry, 22 points on the season. 22 points on the season. Okay, so this is another person who could get eight points and then launch into the quality eighth place position and uh, dethrone Jazzy J Truther. Oh man! All right, let's see. So yeah, how many? How many do they need? Eight. They need eight points. Let's right. see if we can get. Oh no, I'm sorry. Nine points. Nine points, I believe. Right? Nine points yeah. for Alex. Let's see. Can we do it? The Coco, the Snora, the Han Edge, the Blind Side, the Iron Bundle, the Techno Raider, the Porygon Z does score. Oh, the Minin! Oh, oh right. The little Sporkles. He's so cute. Oh man. And the Palkia. Okay, so okay. the Mine is going to be doing the weightlifting here. Whoops. I, I somehow doubt it's going to be a seven-point card, but. You know, in our hearts, it's a 70-point card. That's right, that's right. I'm sure so we, we all remember Sparkles, the shiny mining. How much did it need to be? Uh, we needed nine points. Well, we need this to be a seven-point card at least. So, $6.24. What is it. a seven? Eight, nine points! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
That is crazy. That is going to bring Alex up to 31. Sporkles for the win. Sporkles, as ever, takes the win. That is so fun. Well, for now, anyway. That's going to put you in eighth place and dethrone Jazzy J Truther. You hate to see it, but also, if anyone's going to do it, obviously, it was Sporkles. The Sporks. Amazing. Well, well done. done, Alex. Way to go, and thank you for playing. Man, man, oh, man. If they make a, if they make a mine and skateboard, it's going on. Someone's going down. Yeah. Someone's going down. Regular EV. All right. yeah. I would love it if they made a mine and not a plus hole. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. We don't play favorites, but we kind of do. <laughs> they would never do that. Gosh, all right. Next up, we have Mostwig. Mostwig! Who is coming in with nine points. Okay, nine points. So they're looking for 22. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse. I can't believe that landed exactly at nine points. I know, you were like, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be worth seven, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. Say that number one is. more time. Oh, man, I love it. Okay, so Mostwig, let's see what we can do for you. So we got the Punkaboo, the Zubat, the Gimme Ghoul, the Purloin, the Screamtail. Man, if Eyeball Look Energy. Look at that. Um, Professor Sato's Vitality, the, the Minior, Minior score. the Volcanion will also score, the Kingdraw will score, and the Brute Bonnet will score. So so, four very different Pokemon. Yeah, absolutely. Scoring very three different. rare cards. That's kind of impressive. Him. Yeah. Yeah, so four points on the pack. Well done. Not so bad for Mostwig. 13 Mostwig. on the season, so no podium positions for Mostwig, but a bunch of rare cards coming here. If you're way. a Taylor Swift fan, maybe you're like, heck yeah, 13! 13! Alright, next up we've got Bay Positive. Bay Positive! Like, I like to think they're trying to say, like, be positive, but it's bay positive. Bay positive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Kind of bay positive, man. All right, they've got 25 points. So, actually, another uh, person who could slide into uh, eighth place here. They need, what, six points? Six points. points. And I believe bay as well was uh, our rookie of the day. Um, yeah, you're right. Last. Back like yeah. earlier, earlier this season. Yeah, yeah. New, the, new to season, new to the game in season eight. Yes. So let's see. Bay is having a good, interesting start to the game here. Can they land in eighth place? Think of that. Trubbish, Crushel, Glass Score will score. Simi Sage, Norman, the Medical Energy, the One Trio, and the Iron Moss. So it's just going to be a two-point pack for Bay, which is going to bring them to twenty-seven. Very nearly hitting Man, that uh, like necessary thirty-one points, but doesn't quite get there. But has a gas. Tattoo. That's cool. That is really so cool. Okay. It. Okay. Neat. There's not a gasly in this set, though, is there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. No. Yeah. Alas. No, no spirit Pokemon. All right. Next up, we have Maddie. Maddie. Maddie of a former Disney College program 2016 fame. Man, I'll tell yeah. you what, if there's one thing that I wish people had encouraged me to do more, it's that. Yeah, me too. Same. I think I would have just enjoyed it. In fact, I, I sort of want to go back to college just so I can do it now. Now we know? can just encourage, we just have to make sure we encourage Addy to do it. I, I know, guess. that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the Gimme Ghoul, the Wig. Oh, the wrong Wiglet. The wrong Wiglet. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Man, that's so interesting. Okay, the Jirachi. <laughs> they went big on Wiglet. <laughs> they did. The, the Nackley. No Ghastly, but two Wiglets. Yeah. Um, Come on. The Steeny, the Simi. Poor, the Zeb Striker, the Gimme Ghoul. Oh. 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 It's a yes, it hit. is a critical hit! There we go, the Gligar the will, will score, score and, and the, the Deoxys. Deoxys. So that's gonna be one, two, three times two six is points. six points. So that's gonna give us 12 on the season for Maddie. Well done, Maddie. Congratulations. Way to pull out that critical hit. I know. First one of the day. That is. First one of the of the month. Yeah, here we go. Next up, we have got Nixie Claw, who is sitting at a very tantalizing 28 points. Oh my gosh. So they're looking for like a three point pack. Three or four? Three, three or four. Because right now, um, well, someone just got 31 points, yeah. Alex did. And um, there is actually a space in between Marcos and Alex for 32 points to be scored. And now take over the quality eight okay. spot. Okay, so, so that would be. But so even going a little higher might help you get bumped down. It certainly could. So yeah, it's not the at worst. least three points is what they want here. Let's see: Fireball Energy, Horsey, Joltik, Natu, Remoraid, Countercatcher, Booster Capsule, Masquerain. Oh no, Snorlax doll and Porygon Z. Oh no. man, this is this is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. The worst the possible worst. scenario that you can get because yeah. there is another Porygon that is not rare. So this is. This Porygon is only worth five cents. Yeah. And there is a, a, a common Porygon that is actually worth more than yeah. this Porygon. So this is actually, uh, for, a, for a last place contender, this is the best pack you 
this is the best pack you can get. It is the worst pack you can get. But otherwise, yeah, this is basically the worst pack you could pull. Yeah, unfortunately. Sad so to see we, it. Were, we were looking for, for three, maybe four, and instead walked yeah. away with a single low point. There you but go. you still you still pulled a rather interesting pack. That's right, we got to things. talk about something. We did, yes. <laughs> so thank you for that. All right, next up is Goddess Princess, who, if I recall, took us on quite a journey last time around. Absolutely did, yeah. yes indeed. Goddess okay. Princess has, I, I believe, held every potential winning position position except for maybe last place. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Goddess Princess is not a last place kind of name. Of course know? not. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> not, not, in the, not in the slightest. Well, they've got 13 points now, so they're going to need something big here to make a splash. If anything, though, it does feel like we're talking about like Ariel Stormborn with that like kind of mighty mm -hmm. name. Yeah. It feels like what might do it is a Goddess Princess exactly. thing. You know, it's like it's like you've got like the warrior and then you've got like the like angelic presence on mm -hmm. on, you know, planet. Worth, which is the alternate word. Planet Earth Worth. And, and I, that I imagine. <laughs> W-E-A-R-T-H. Yes, yes. Worth. worth. That's a very uncomfortable spelling. It, it really is. But either way, we got the Mind Fear right off the top yep. there, which will score. We got the Geibel, which will score. The Pampor won't. Crocolore. Tulip. Chantal. The Plusle. <laughs> Uh, will not score, the blip bug will not score, and the evil oh, so just one, two, three either. points there. Mm. So, Goddess Princess unfortunately not able to take down uh, the warrior that is Ariel Stormborn, who is really the one, for whatever reason in my mind, she was contending with on that particular occasion. Man, I don't know if Ariel Stormborn is even in the field today. I guess we'll have to, uh, I guess right. we'll know when we get there. Yeah, but right? In the meantime, it's Alyssa's turn! All right, Alyssa. Alyssa has got 13 on the season. So, gonna need something big here. All right, let's to get see. anywhere so near a, a placement. Right. Well, we got. Yeah, I mean, Big Steve probably the That's best. True. So about seven points would would put in good contention. Ooh, the you never, you never score. Yeah, there you go. The Onyx. Okay. Little Nick and Nack Nack little score. All right, we're getting closer and closer to seven. Scream Tail Char Cadets. Oh, oh, critical hit. Critical hit. There we go. Oh, and the Steelix. Okay. So, so nothing one, two. So six points. Oh, so I'm gonna tie with Big Steve. Oh no. One point shy. There you go. That is gonna be twenty points on the season. For Alyssa, so one point off with the double scream tails. Congratulations! I know, on that. I mean, and it is like that. It's the reverse hollow scream tail too, so you get that like cool ancient pattern on it there. It is really neat looking. Neat. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh oh, we have our next rookie, Ben. It's Jesse Utile. All right. Let's see, Jesse. How are we gonna do? We are gonna beat two points, if I recall. Two points, yeah, from from Christy, uh, from Christy, yep. Christy C earlier today. That's that's the mark to do. And we've we've had uh, we've had rookies play every which way in the past. Sometimes they absolutely crush it, and all Kyle, yeah, Kyle, we're looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> Warrior Kyle, uh, Parasol Lady, the Porygon. Oh, there's the Porygon. That, that's... So that's worth more than the Porygon C. The Octillery, the Golbat, the Luxurious Cape, well, the, the Ambipom. Ambipom will score, so minute. at least two. The Tinkaton, the Boon Sweet will not score, the Galvantula will not score, and the Espathra. Uh oh, so it's another two point pack there for the rookies. Two points for the rooks, so we might have to go down to total rare card value. I think we have four in today's yeah, episode. So maybe, some, maybe someone can mount more than two points. There we'll see. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Well, Jesse, welcome to the game. Thank you for your patronage. Good luck next time. All right, next. Oh, oh, oh here, here we, we go. go. Next one is a JR. A JR, but mm -hmm. not Junior. JR. That's right, JR. J. Welcome to the game. All right, JR. And they get more than two points for the Olive Garden gift card. Could be. Probably. Could be. In fact, back in my aquarium days, I worked with a guy named JR, so it could be them. Probably. Even. Probably even. Look at all the. We've had this pattern a few times where it's I know, like psychic, yeah. dark psychic. That's weird. Cyclozar. Me and Shao will, will score. score. The Haunage will not. The Pampor will not. And the Chi Yu. So oh another, another two point two rookie. Points. Man. Wow, it is. The the field is open. There's one more to go. Better Can't they get to, more than two points? Stick to jellyfish there, JR. I know, come yeah. on. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, either way, welcome. Welcome to the game as ever, and, and thank you for your support. JR probably stands for jellyfish rookie. If I oh, I bet so. Yeah. I bet so. We should probably there write that go. down on their card. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and write that down. I'll just go, whoops. Next up, we've got Lauren B from The Bachelor. From The Bachelor. Probably. Oh, no. Lauren B is like, I do not like that show. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh man, yeah, the worst if we ever assign somebody an inside joke that is then uh, contrary to their personality. I like to think that since being assigned to this inside joke, Lauren B has begun, has become a big fan of Lauren B and Ari. Oh yeah, and there you just go. Just like, like really leaned into it. It's like, right. yeah, I follow them on Instagram, I'm just rooting for them. They're my know? favorite. I think they had twins. <laughs> it's like one of the only successful Bachelor couples. Right, well then they technically did, well anyway, we don't uh, Yeah, you know what? <laughs> they didn't even end the show together. They, yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, we got the Blitzel, the Boon Sweet, the Feebas, the Napalm, the Dozo. I think we're showing too much of our, our Bachelor hand. <laughs> I came for the Pokemon <laughs> cards. I stayed for the Bachelor trivia. <laughs> <laughs> don't, I don't even watch it anymore. Me either, yeah. yeah, yeah let it go. Garmotor, <laughs> the technical machine evolution, the wrong Wiglet, unfortunately. Yeah. The Octillery, yeah. was there? No, that was the last pipe, maybe. Uh, oh! oh, the Iron Valley. Well, we know this one's going to be big. We know that. Because the base version was big. Lauren there B, go, who I Lauren. believe has pulled some big, some hard-hitting stuff in the past. Number 225 is the Lauren card number. Lauren big pulls. Well, she's not, she has pulled stuff big in the past, but it has been a minute. There's only been three-point packs this season, so. Okay, so this one one is going to be worth thirteen dollars eighty cents, so, so 14, fourteen points. points there. Plus her remaining six is going to land her at twenty. Oh, so oh. That, that, no, that could be Big Steve contention. Oh, because he's at nineteen. He's at nineteen. Oh, yeah, wait, is yep. Lauren B right there at? Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so Lauren B tentatively at Big Steve contention. Wow, that's wow, wow, good. wow! Well done. Oh, and a really cool valued. card. Yes, Congratulations so to else. Lauren B. Very playable. Very good card. All right, next up we've got Blood Vamp. Blood Vamp! Who's come in with back-to-back -back six point packs for a total of 12 on the season. So they could be a big Steve. This is the rival of Andriana. Andriana, yeah, I can't remember I know. why. Why would Andriana be the rival of Blood Vamp? I can't mm -hmm. remember. There must be a fun fact about Andriana that's I know. relevant. But either <laughs> which way, they're they're doing eyes and right they're now. They're like, what? Spinda, Ding a Ding, D Evolution, Explode, Mila, Toxel, Dublade, and Aegislash. Okay. So there is a. Uh, this looks like bulk, but. We'll double check it, make sure it might be on two or three points. We gotta be for sure, but yeah, just 58 cents on that one. The round oh, up to a single man. point. So 13 on the season for old Blood Vamp there. Andriana cracks knuckles. So is that all you got? <sighs> I don't know where I'm gonna see Andrew. Oh, Andriana's in 20th, so yeah, she's just f officially finished off Blood Vamp for the season. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Next up, we have Jess. Jess. Who it's Jess. Where? It's Jess. You probably never heard that before. Oh, yeah, probably not. Probably not. I feel like whenever I would watch New Girl, that would just get stuck in my head the, oh. like the whole time. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. It's Jess. All right, there we go. So we got the uh, Lightning Bolt energy to kick things off. We got the Larry, the Yamas, the Surskit, the Whimsor, the Snorlax, all Earth the Earth and Vessel, vessel will score. The Tatsugiri, the Golbat, the Jirachi will not score, and the Low wow. Kicks will. So it's going to be a three point pack. A three point pack. All right, that is going to bring them to seven on the season for Jess. Lucky number seven for Jess. There we'll you enjoy. Go. That's her second season in a row. No, yeah, that's, yeah, never mind, never mind. Just second season ever Just, scoring seven? Yeah, that's okay. it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun stat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It, I mean, honestly, I feel like whenever you're watching professional sports, the number of stats that they're able to like pull out of obscurity, it's like, so-and-so just passed the all-time after hit receiving yards something, you yeah. know, and you're like, On wow. third downs in the fourth quarter. Yeah, exactly. So, it's like, well, somebody has to hold that record. Someone has to, I guess. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have John Munyon, a.k.a. Mooney Man, a.k.a. Like Paul Bunyan, a.k.a. Reginald Munyon. So, you. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. You, you know the one. <laughs> you, know, you know the one. <laughs> They've got 20 points, so they are about to uh, bump themselves out of the Big Steve Award, right. is what I'm looking at. Because, yeah, especially now that um, the 21, or that the... Yeah, someone landed at 21, right? Yeah, so you'd love to see 12 here. It would be amazing for, for quality eighth place contention. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. We may have lost our overhead camera. Nope, oh, there it is. Back. Cool. Bam, all right, Dark Entropy. I don't feel like we've had a raucous pummeling here in a hot second. There we go. Mind Fu, the Gaibel will score, Pan for Rika, Screamtail, Vitality, Snow Run, the Tinkaton does not score, and oh, the oh, Norman. Norman! There you go. That's fun. Boom, fist bump. Fist bump, number 237 on the set. Let's take a peek. I could, I mean, this feels like it could get the most 12 points. Let's find out. $2.84. Well, I was Norman. dead wrong about yeah, that. So Norman. Not not quite on Sporkle's level, yeah. obviously. This so is a three, four, five point pack. Five point pack. All right, so that is going to bring them to 25 on the season. But a full art to there bling you out your deck either which way. Exactly. Blinging is always the way. All right, oh, here we go. Final rookie of the day is Dieter56. Dieter? All right, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, is it you? Yeah, I it's you. All right, let's go. Let's see. We just need more than two points. More than two. For the Olive Garden, or else we're going to have to go back and do a bunch of math on okay. who has the highest value 
rare a card. Rare card, I know. Yeah. So let's see. So so make our life easy here, not to not to throw any of the other rookies under the bus or mm -hmm. anything. <clears throat> um, but let's see what we got. We got the eyeball energy, so no extra help there. We got the gabite. Mm, the gabite okay, helps. So at least two points. The mine in Durant Durant. The Slytherin. Slytherin there, there we go. We go. The Ferrothorn. The Swablu will not score. The I Apom will not score. Oh, oh the, the Iron, Iron Hands. Hands. All right. So a clear winner. A clear winner. In the end is going to be Dieter fifty six. Is going to be rookie of the day. With nine dollars twelve cents on the Iron Hands. So that's a twelve point pack. Man. So Dieter wow. showing up and just basically. I mean, this is going to be a fun fact about Dieter for a long time to come. This I know. Was the first ever game they were able to pull. Uh, the Olive Garden gift card as well as the Iron Hand. So Amazing. great, strong showing. Well done. Welcome to the game, and thank you for your support. Have yourself a lasagna. <laughs> oh, man, the fried lasagna, I'm not going to lie, from Olive Garden is, is, <laughs> is good. It's <laughs> real good. It is a really good. There we go. Throw that in there for you. All right, next up, we've got Josh. Josh! Josh! Probably Yosh. I'm gonna write that down. Probably Yosh. Yosh. A soft, a soft, H soft Hota. J. Yeah. That's how you, soft that's Hota. A, Hota. That's how you yeah. say J in Spanish. Canadian Josh. Uh, oh, okay. Yosh. Yeah. <laughs> Yosh. Seems like something. Uh, I was gonna say seems like something you could say to like a sled dog, but that's Yosh. That's mush. Mush. Yeah, maybe that's Yosh. <laughs> It wasn't that close. <laughs> In the end. Oh, here oh, we go! Rock okay, is rock. bubbling for Yosh! So we got two times multiplier for Yosh. They have seven points coming in, so let's see what they got. Can they capitalize on the type advantage? They do the Slither Wing will we'll score. The Tatsugiri. The Gorgeist. The Minior Minior. will score. The Curse Duster. And the Champ Pass. So, so not too much. Just six points. Six points for Josh. Yosh, rather. What does that bring them to on the season? Thirteen on the season for Yosh. Thirteen on the season. The Taylor Swift Award, which doesn't get you anything, but it's certainly good to know about yourself. Whether or not you care. Right, exactly. All right, next up we have uh, the Blue Swede. The Blue who, Swede. I want to say is kind of high up. I was just seeing their name. Okay, let's maybe. Speak. Okay, well, well, seventeen on. points so Seven. far. So yeah, they're down to twenty second at the moment. Okay, they are possible Big Steve contention. Yes, is what's happening? Yes. yes, okay, that's where they're at. Yeah, so realistically, three points would be amazing, but they probably won't get it because the, oh, the multiplier will yeah. give you an even number no matter they, what. Maybe they're aiming more for. Eighth place that's, now. That's right. Yep. So there's the other Porygon, the Seedra, the Magby, the Medical Energy, the Iron Bundle, the, the Glide Score, mm -hmm. the Ferrothorn will not score. Oh, oh, the Gimme Ghoul! Look at that. That's so cool. This on the multiplier is going to be great. That is going to be great. So that's amazing. <laughs> and then the Latios to close off. But the Gimme Ghoul is really where the money's at. Man, so I mean, literally, look at all the money on the card. If you remember, we pulled the Goldango in another set. And if you put these two cards together, they sort of make a full picture. You can sort of see Goldango standing up back there, that's the belt. Okay, so, so Gimme Ghoul's cool. coming in at eight dollars eleven cents. So nine, nine 10, ten, eleven, nine. twelve times two is twenty-four. 24. There we so go. So what does so that do? That is going to be what twenty four forty one. Forty one! Oh my gosh, so jumping up into the third place oh, it's overall. So close. Oh my gosh. Wow. Very impressive. Excellent pull. Way to use the multiplier. An amazing Damn. card headed your way. So, so close. So, I mean, it's not impossible that in third place you get bumped all the way down to eighth, I guess, but we're going to need to see some big packs. Hey, it's like, I would love forward. to see a world where 41 is yeah. eighth place because would, that yeah. would mean we're getting to pull some sweet cards. Know, blue people. sweet, I'm rooting for you for eight. There we go. Then, then, we've had a, then we've had quite a, uh, a month. All right, next up, we've got Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Yeah, Robot Wiz or whatever. Forever. You know, I think I like, we argue about this every time. I know. I like to think that this was like Robotnik's like nickname as like a like a fourth grader. Yeah. Like you know, like before, like they they really like kind of dialed in on Robotnik. Yeah. Like, Robot Wiz. I'm a Robot Wiz. I'm, I'm a, a Wiz with robots. Exactly. I hate hedgehogs. Uh, Blitzel, Moonsweet, Feebass, Apom, Minier will score, Crocolor will not, Tulip, Melodic does score, the Porygon does not, but the Toxtricity does! And so twice. it is fighting, yeah, so. Yeah, let's, do let's double check that at least, yeah, so 100 on the set, worth 60 cents, so just two points for that one, so four All points right. on four the points pack. Ten. All right, that is going to bring them to nine on the season for there Robot we There we go, enjoy! Boom. Rolling. All right, next up we've got Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. A. This says uh, <laughs> we made some notes here that we uh, Shadow Loop in uh, pack one. The note says can do better. You know what? <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> after pack two, so they got two points two again. Do, do better. better. All right, Shadow Loop. Look, look. Do better. Do better. You know, I know you can. I know you have it in you. That's the thing. It's like 
you wouldn't encourage somebody who wasn't capable. Right. You, you know, know, I'm not trying to push you past your limits. I'm trying to get you to reach your potential. Exa mm -hmm. Wow. Well said. Mm -hmm. Well said. Coach Let's see Jay. a shadow loop. All right. Dewblade, Mill Tank, Wimpod, Plusle, Curse Duster, Or Beetle, Claw. Oh. Nice. One. <laughs> more, more Pekka will score. Hey. So technically doing better. And <laughs> Goliathopod to close out. So you did do better. You got three. You know what? Oh, I'll take it. Well, I'll a, gold take it. a gold star. Gold star. Gold star. Honorary gold star being stuck upon your card right now. Boom. So uh, always and forever, uh, will you know that this Goliathopod is a marker of your improved progress? Indeed. Indeed. What did you win once upon a time? The Phidippides Award. The Phidippides Award. The Phidippides yeah. Award. Are you drawing a gold star? I was gonna. I was gonna give a little note of encouragement here. Ooh, I don't think it's gonna stick. It's hard to write on these cards. It turns out. Oh man. I need like a better marker. Ooh, it's just gonna rub off. Oh no. Hopefully you weren't really in love with this glassipod card. If so, let us know. I'm sure we have another one. All right, I just wrote you did it. You did it. Yeah. You did it. You did it, Shadow Loop. Right. So kind of like a special card. Now. Maybe we need a sleeve. Give a me, sleeve. Give me yeah, a sleeve. I, I'm, I'm, let's sleeve it up. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Be very gentle. Yes. Gentle. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now let, let everybody go. see what, yes. what what's headed this way. You did it. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. All right. <clears throat> Next up, we've got Vincent. Vincent! Who has got eight points on the season. Am I pulling more than you? Maybe I am. Wow. Are you man. up? Maybe I... you just go, but you pull for Vincent. I'll just do it. Here we go. Vincent, you're welcome. What Probably. can I say except you're welcome. A fun fact about Vincent is he breaks drones. Break. <laughs> it said he breaks drones. Is he breaks dances? <laughs> <laughs> just like you get me a drone, I'm crashing. That you want to know who breaks drones? Us. Us. <laughs> we have twice. We have both done it. It is a terrible feeling. Vanillite, Orcorio, Swablu, Panzer will score. Semi Sage, Norman, Tinket Tough, Knackley will score, and, and Garnackle Gar will so score twice. So three point uh, pack there. No, four point pack. Oh. Right. So one, two, yeah, I'm sorry, three, four. Wow. There we go. Four point pack, that's gonna be 12 on the season for Vincent. You know, go break a drone with that. There we go, that's, that's right. That's right. All right, next up we've got Caitlin. Caitlin! Let's see, they have got five on the season thus far. Right. What can we do? But they're gonna have to have something big if they want a podium spot here with five points. Let's got see. a long way to go. We got the lightning bolt energy. Mm -hmm. We got the nicket, the glygar, the blip, bu blip bug, blip bug, the Fuecoco, the cyclozar, the toad scroll, the slitherwing, the tinka tink will not, the wimpod will not, and the, the palkia will. will. So, so three points. Three is going to bring you to eight on the season. Well played, Caitlin. Well done. Well done. All right, next up, we have got Gildruin! Gildruin! He's got nine on the season. So what are they looking for here? Like a 12-point pack? Yeah, 12. 12 would be, well, or 12, 11, you know? I mean, really what I think he'd be most immediately looking for is now tying for a 20-point spot and then Let's trying see. to duke it out, you know, in, in fire, and as okay. I said, in Survivor. Right, yeah, you gotta yeah. build fire. As we like to call yeah. total rare card value. Exactly. All right, we've got Surskit, Magmi, Flamigo, Porygon, Vanillox, Defiance Vest, Veluza, Knackle Stack, the Latios will score, and the Wo Chien will score. So, so four, four points. points. Not quite going to make it. They're going to be 13 on the season. I thought we were with a fair few 13s at this point. A lot of, a lot of Taylor Swift awards, you know? I know, I know. Right? Uh, next up is Blue Malamute. Blue Malamute. Who has got seven. Seven points and three Malamutes. All right. Let's see, Blue Malamute famously, I think, won our first ever last place award. Oh, I think you're right. Yes, yep. you're right, because yep. they one point right there. One point final, yep. <laughs> Man, there Here you go. The Tandem Mouse, the Toad School, the Toxel, the Spinda, the Orthworm, the Semi-Seer, the Absol, the Onyx mm -hmm. will score, the Tatsugiri will not, and, and the Garchomp! Gar All right, so that's the base Garchomp. We obviously saw the big one earlier, or mm -hmm. one of the bigger ones earlier. So $1. sixty-seven. so it gets up two. to two points. So that's going to be three for the pack, which is going to to be 10 on the season for Blue Malamute. There we go. And right. a Garchomp. And a Garchomp. Three Malamutes and a Garchomp. Walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Enjoy your Garchomp. It's a weird bar. It's a weird bar. All right, next up we have got uh, two people left on the day. We have got Carly, who, man, uh, is Carly a former champion? Did they get 
It looks like they had an eight times multiplier back in season six for eighty point pack. I know. I think so. I think that may, that was a that was like one of those rare occasions. And I think Carlos sat atop the leaderboard for at least a long period of time. I can't remember whether or not Carlos. Yeah, we need like a we need like a like a banner that shows us like I know, each like of the, the, the winners. winners. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Well, I, well, as it right now, Carlos doing pretty good. They have thirty five points. So okay, Carly, big time player in the game. Yeah, someone to watch out for for I sure. Know. I remember mean, Carly's name comes out. They only well, thir thirty five. What do they need? Four 14 points would take the lead. 14 points, okay, not impossible. Okay, not, certainly not impossible. Let's see it. All right, water energy, not getting any help there. Yeah, Pants the Gabite, the Gabite helps. The mine in, that's a good omen. The Dondoza, the Chantel, the Garbodor, the, the Gap. Oh, it's a critical hit! It is a critical hit. And the Oh my out. gosh! What is happening with Carly right now? What, this is such a Garchomp pack! Oh man, so we gotta do some weird math here. We do, All right, because okay, the so. critical hit is coming off of points that are scoring for multiplier, and the Garchomp is gonna be huge. Okay, let's um, see, so the two, two, four, oh my god. Uh-oh. We have a new leader. I bet we do. Is this worth more? What is this worth? Garchomp is worth $29.54. Is that 30, so 30 points? So 30, 31, 32, 33, times, times two. Times two. Oh, no, these are, yeah, okay, sorry. 30, 31, 32, 33, times two is 66. 66. Whoa! Oh my yes. god! That's crazy. Man, it's not even going to be close. Because that is going to bring her to, uh, I think, 101? No, oh, that, hang on, that math does, oh, maybe, maybe, you're right, 101. Yeah. 101 points, right? Yeah. 96 plus 400, yeah, 101 points for Carly! Man, that is crazy! What is going on? Carly has got the hot hand what in the is game. This game. Easily up into first place by like a mile. By a mile. I mean, I, th that pack alone, this pack alone would have would have given you first place. Let yeah. alone also having a thirty-four point pack. Yeah, I know. Into to it, go was... from thirty-four to sixty to back-to-back to -back thirty-four and sixty-six point packs. That's crazy. Man. Man. After getting an eight times multiplier back in season six, even in season seven, had a twenty-four point pack for her single pack that season. So the queen Carly, is back, people. Carly, out of her last. Yes, yeah, seven packs. They have been 80, 12, 5, 24, 1, 34, and 66. So, like, I don't know if we've seen a run like this. This I might know. be wow. I, I, but yeah, I almost feel like what we need to do is like is go through and like total up everybody's like all time ever scores. Yeah. But that's impressive. That's well impressive. Done, Carly. Congratulations. And we pulled all three Garchomps out of this. That's or at least cool. three different Garchomps out of this box. That it's is It's been a wild. fun box today. Like all the way. I feel like it's been steady. Like we've we've consistently had like cool fun pulls. So um Crafty Chick, not to put any undue pressure on yourself. However, that is a tough act it's to follow. It's a tough act to follow. It's a tough act to follow. But yeah. Crafty Chick. On the critical hit. <laughs> I know, let's see, so what, what is Crafty uh, coming in It wasn't with, just that, Ben, is that the critical hit was the thing that evolves into Garchomp, I know, too. I know, like, yeah. On top it was, of it all. It was poetic, that it was, was poetic. Crazy. Let's see, all right, so we got the we got the metal energy to kick things off. We got the Oricorio, the Toad School, the Vanillite, the Charcadet, the Technical Machine Turbo Energize, which just, I can't with that. Wong Trio, Technical Machine Blindside, the Dewblade will not score, the Professor Turo Scenario, and then the Evelto. Oh, one man. point. Wow. Wow, we yeah. sort of, we petered out. We did, we did indeed. So Crafty Chick, enjoy your Eveltal. Uh, yeah. Know that Man. it was gonna be a tough act to follow no matter what you did. So, uh, oh, but well go. done. Thank you as ever for your support here of the show. Wow, well, um, good job to Carly too. Jumping into first place with 101 points. I know. Can Ariel Stormborn come storming back? I know. They're gonna need, I mean, <laughs> The thing is, for anyone to catch them, they're gonna have to basically pull a better pack than anyone's pulled so far. I know, the question yeah. now in my mind too is Blue Swede had jumped up into third place overall, is now, now in fourth. fourth. So go. yeah, we gotta, we gotta watch that Swede meter. <laughs> yeah, so the Swede speak. meter. Yeah, <laughs> see, see how that, that shakes out for the rest of the season. But what a totally thrilling episode. That was a lot of fun for, for an unboxing to kick off the new year. That was, that was fantastic. Pulled Welcome to 2024. I know, I know, very cool. So guys, as ever, if you are interested in having us open a pack for you in a future episode, you can head on over to Patreon dot com slash slash super carlin gaming uh, and check out any of the box breakers tiers if they are currently sold out we also have a wait list listed in the description down below where we will reach out to you to let you know when available spaces are there uh, but otherwise guys until next time hariyama, hariyama.